Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today I'm bringing you guys another Forzathon guide. Now this week's Forzathon is all about the first ever Horizon cover car uh, which is the 2013 Dodge SRT Viper GTS uh, and that's what you will be using in this week's Forzathon. Now it's a very cool car and you can pick it up for about 95,000 credits in the auto show or cheaper in the auto house, uh, auction house if you want to look there. Of course I've created a tune for you guys to use so it's a standard engine but twin turboed pushing just over 1100 brake horsepower it's a fantastic car. Uh, so the first challenge just wants you to earn 10 trading paint skills. Now this is quite simply when you just nudge into another car um, and the easiest way to do this I reckon is to go into solo mode uh, as there is way more AI cars for you to bump into uh, and then head to the highway uh, as that's where the majority of them are and like I said all you need to do is just give them a gentle tap uh, doing at least over 50 mile an hour to get that trade and paint skill. Uh, it is fairly easy to do but of course you don't need any sort of tune to do this uh, you just need a lot of AI cars in a row to do it very quickly. As you can see here like I said in solo mode when you're not online down the highway there is a ton of cars to hit uh, especially as a lot of the other AI driver cars uh, you can hit whereas when you're online you just end up going through them. Uh, now the next challenge wants you to win three street scene events which is another very very easy one uh, so of course I just filtered the map <clears throat> to see which street scene events I had available to me but I always go down to the bathroom gate one because it's probably the quickest one there is um, and again it's actually very very easy to do you don't have to have a tune for it uh, but the one that I've created definitely helped me um, purely because it's a, it's a lot quicker than a standard tune uh, and it'll help you get the race over a lot easier and it actually handles quite well uh, it's actually a pretty good car to be honest um, like I said you know it's not too difficult to complete this challenge um, and as well you don't have to be on any sort of difficulty it's not like it's one of the standard uh, festival playlist events you can do it on easy or you can do it on sort of really hard it's entirely down to yourself uh, now the last challenge wants you to earn 750,000 skill score in your srt viper gts um, this doesn't have to be done in one shot but i recommend doing it that way as it is a lot quicker uh, and i also recommend going over to the small airfield um, as there's lots of things to smash into and you sort of pick up a routine over there as well as that, I recommend getting some of the skills for it. Um, they will obviously increase and boost a lot of your skill percentages. So instead of getting 100 points for a speed skill example, uh, you'll get 150 points for it, which in the end they do add up as there is various skills on there. Uh, and like I said, I pick up a routine, so I sort of do a figure, a figure eight around the whole thing, um, hit the jump and then come back. Now I try not to hit too many jumps uh, because chances are that's when you're most likely going to bin it, uh, you're most likely going to hit into something. Uh, so I just stick to that one small jump at the end of the runway in the field. Um, I'm just speeding it up here because obviously I did it in one shot and it takes about six minutes but it's a bit boring to watch it all. Uh, now the reason I recommend doing it in one shot is because obviously you multiply it, you'll get it six times. Uh, you don't have to but it'll just save you a bit of time in the long run or you can do it sort of throughout the week uh, and just pick up various skill points here and there in the car but definitely hitting in one shot takes about six minutes overall uh, especially when you've got all the perks picked out with the skill points but anyway guys i hope this video has helped you out um, i hope you've enjoyed it if you're struggling with anything or if there's something you're not happy with in the content that i'm providing you with please do say so below in the comments uh, i really do just want to try and improve my videos as best as i can anyway i hope like i said that you enjoyed this if you're new to the channel please do drop a like and subscribe i will be very grateful but apart from that guys thank you very much for watching all the best and take care